Hello everybody, I hope you're very, very well. Um, it's a little um, difficult topic that I'm going to talk about. Uh, but, I, but personally, I think when I uh, go through something and I put it out there with my friends, family and all of y'all, I get a lot of relief, um, you know, kind of, kind of liberating for me is why I choose to talk to you today. Um, you know, I'm the sort of person who's uh, through my life, I've just one hurdle after the other and I've just taken it in my stride and, and tried to do the best to overcome it and, and I have all these years, yeah? And uh, where my health checks are concerned, I have constantly, every year after I cross 30, uh, 40, I used to do a pap smear and a mammogram. Mammogram once in two years though, whenever they say you have to come back. But a pap smear test ever so often, every year to say the least. And all my blood tests and everything, just to keep my health in check and to, to know that I'm okay, you know. So uh, I, I think about, about a week, 10 days ago, I got up one, morning and when every time I turned my head to the left the room was spinning so I was like what is happening you know and uh, I got a little worried because and when I moved my head straight it was fine moved my head to the right I was fine but to the left and the spin so um, I um, checked my BP and the BP was random. It was just like all over the place. So I immediately messaged Dr. Monica Mahajan, who's my uh, my GP. And I said, Doc, what is happening? My head is spinning and this. So she said, uh, okay, take this medicine, this medicine. And then for two days, I kept checking my BP, too random. And my head spin wasn't getting any better. So I actually asked the doc, I said, uh, what should I, I'm just going to go get a complete checkup done, doc. It's been six years since I did a full check checkup. So she said, yeah, that's a good idea. Please go and get it done. So I checked myself in, got my full checkup done. I mean, you go in at nine o'clock and by 1.32, everything is done, right? And everything, treadmill, this, that, everything. And after two days, I went back uh, for a review. So. So I've already got my reports online, um, checked it all out and this is a little higher, this is a little lower, <laughs> all that, figure it out myself. So I knew it was nothing drastic, but uh, the, the ENT, what I want to speak to you about is, I'd gone to the ENT and the ENT said, what you are going through this whole chakra situation is because you have positional vertigo. Uh, it's probably the kind of job that I did all my life uh, where I was bending so my neck was stressed out. It wasn't in an up position. It was most of the time looking down to do makeup and haircuts. I don't know if that is the case, <laughs> that is the situation. But whatever the reason is, positional vertigo. So that is why when in one position, when my head, like I couldn't sleep on this side. When I did my whole, like I wanted to throw up and it was just, scary and uh so then he gave me i'm going to put it on the uh on the post he said google this exercise it's very simple very easy and uh he told me what to do and how to do it and he says anyway google it so you'll you'll see what exactly to do and uh i did it two days and the vertigo was gone so if anybody is going through that, maybe uh, it's something to check out after you speak to your doctor and uh, see if it is um, something. I think it's got something to do with the inner ear, um, this vertigo situation, you know. Can you hear all the birds? It's quite beautiful. Anyway, so what I was coming to is that, um, so by the time I went back for my review, for my test, uh, the spinning had stopped. I was in a quite a good space because I knew that there was nothing really drastic with me. The TMT looks, looked fine, everything looked fine. 
and then I went and do met Dr. Monica. She did my review. First thing she said was, uh, I'm not very happy with uh, this lump on your breast, the left side. So I said, huh? So she said, uh, yeah, it's got in the mammogram and you need to, uh, but yeah, I'm not very happy. It looks very suspicious. You know, I cannot tell you what happens at that moment because you are like in a happy space and suddenly out of the blue, a bolt comes and just hits you. You go into a state of shock. I went into a state of shock. So she said, uh, well, it may be nothing. Uh, it could be, but you need to get it checked. And she said, I'm not sending you home. I'm sending you straight to the oncology department. And in another, uh, Max, another hospital. And I want you to meet this doctor and he's the best. And, and just go and meet him right now. So I got in, I had driven myself. I didn't even take my driver because I thought I'm just going for a review, right? So I drove to the other hospital in a state of shock. I didn't tell anybody at that point of time. I went there and waited for the doctor. It was a good two hour wait and um, very busy doctor. And I messaged Kavi. I said, this is the situation. Uh, there's a suspected lump and we need to, uh, you know, check it out. So the doc checked me and said, yes, it's very suspicious. I think the doctors don't just tell you outright what it is and what it isn't. So he said, immediately, I want you to go and get a scan, ultrasound and biopsy. So that happened three days ago. So three days, you're in a, in a state of, you don't know, I didn't know if I was coming or going. I knew, I mean, I immediately got all my three sisters, Gopika, Devika and Renuka on a, on a video call and we spoke to each other, all that happened. And then I said, Amma, what do we do? Uh, so, so then we decided it's better to keep her in the loop from the beginning, not to suddenly just dump something on her. She won't be able to find it difficult to deal with. So. Um, so Devika said, I'm here with Amma, so let me tell her, then she will call you in. So remember two and a half years ago, my mother went through the same thing, you know, uh, it was malignant and she got it removed at Lakeshore in Kochi. So anyway, so I spoke to Amma and she said, don't worry. And of course, she's always been my strength, you know, I said, I'm not worried, Amma, this could be just benign also, you know just waiting so anyway yesterday i got the results and it is malignant and um, today i'm talking to you i'm ready to go to the hospital uh, to meet the doctor with the reports and he will tell me when the surgery has to be done and it is a very difficult time in my life uh, but uh, Kavi is staying strong, my mom is staying strong, and so are my sisters. And uh, what I need from all of you is your blessings. I need your prayers. Just send up a prayer for me tonight. So uh, it all just, I, I, the, the power of prayers is, for me, it's a very big thing, you know. And uh, keep, in, keep me in your prayers tonight. And, I should I think I should be fine you know the thing is they they told me they caught it at a very early stage now I just want to on this page I think 95% are women I, w I would presume that 80% are over the age of uh, 25 30 and by the time you cross 40 I I beg you go get your tests done regularly and if you haven't got any tests done, please just get it done. It's, it's not painful and uh, it's better to know where you're at. Um, if something is wrong, then it's better to catch it early than later because um, 
it's easier to deal with i think so you all are going to go on this journey with me um i will keep you posted whenever i can uh the ap phone uh is going to go to the team which will continue taking your orders and and all of that but i will get back to the phone as soon as i can um to answer all your queries and all that but uh, all that is just work which will happen on the side this to you today i'm talking to you on a one to one personal message from me to you i am not scared i am not i know this is a sort of a situation where normally people are not vocal about it normally people want to keep it to themselves and to their families not even the outer circle know anything about it um i am not that person i am a person who feels liberated when i share my uh you know what i'm going through with people who matter to me and where who people that i think that i matter to them i think everybody on my page i think you all feel something for me is why you're on the page you watch me all the time you hear me talk you listen to what i have to say and uh, in this case it is um early detection is what i am begging you to to do i mean don't stay away from doing a test self examination is very very important but sometimes if it's deep rooted then you can't even a self examination also won't uh, you know it doesn't show up you need to get that mammogram done and if i hadn't got that mammogram done and i haven't got it done in 6 years now if i waited for another 6 years it would have been too late so uh the doctor today i'll go and i'll speak to him i will still keep you updated on uh, how it's going and where i'm at and <laughs> all of that so the praise is what i need and your good wishes and uh, don't be scared for me i don't want any negative energy coming my way i want only positive energy so all the positive energy comes to me i'll be really happy and blessed i am actually blessed that i have so many of you that look out for me every day i get messages saying how much somebody loves me or somebody cares for me or somebody looks out for me every day i get messages so this time in my life the what i really need is your prayers and uh is keep me in your prayers that's all and positive energy so i shall see you soon i'm sorry to bring such terrible news to you uh but you would have wondered if i just vanished for days on end you would have wondered where did i become and go why isn't she posting but i will try to post something or the other uh through it all i don't know how long recovery is going to be and but i know for a fact that i will recover from this but i am a fighter you know and i've always been a fighter and this is something i will beat i will overcome it this too shall pass you know i believe in that i say i should see you all very very soon and you take good care of yourselves please take good care of yourselves go for the test bye bye